Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about how we can build our first scenario in Excel. So what we are going to do is we are going to go into QBank. We are going to enter the username and the password. Click on sign in button. Verify the funds transfer link. And then log on. Okay, so how do we do that using Excel Cube? So go into the navigator and then click on scenarios. So let's create a first scenario, which is going to be verify login into QBank. Okay, you can give in any description. For now, I'm doing demo. And then you say save and continue. Now you're going to add your first step, which is going to be invoking the browser. You click on this drop down. You say invoke browser, which is a system step. Specify the URL you want to invoke. And once you invoke this browser, you're going to land on the login page. So we say the name of the page that it will lead us to is the QB login page. Okay. Now let's record this view. We click on record view. Now our cube view recorder is open. So we click on record view and we try to capture this entire view so once the view is recorded and the elements are captured now you can see 161 elements captured you click on add view and say save and done so now your view has been added so you say done and then you say add step Okay, so now you have gone into the QB login page. Now you need to enter the login credentials. So you can say enter the or you can simply say login into QBank. Okay, this is going to be a new step. And the moment you log in into QBank, what is going to happen is you're going to sign in and you're going to log, land on the QB home page. Okay, so we say here we're going to land on the QB home page. Okay, this is going to be a new context. We say add step. Now that we are on the QB home page, we're going to verify the funds transfer link. So we say here we're going to verify the funds transfer link. And the moment this is done, we are going to be still on the QB homepage. So we say QB homepage. Now after the funds transfer is done, what if, uh, verifying the funds transfer, what we are going to do is we are going to log out. Okay, so we want to log out. So what you do here is you specify the step, which is going to be log out of QBank okay and this is going to be your new action say log out of QBank and now your context once you log out is you're going to come back into the landing page right uh, or the login page when you log out so you say here QB login page is a page I will land into when I log out so click on add step and then say escape so you're done okay now you'll see warning for these particular actions because we have not uh, you know added any action logic for this particular steps so let's add that so we go into the first action which is login into uh, QBank so what we need to do here is we need to specify and enter the username so we click on this particular area we right click and we say enter text in web element we type the text it's a user web input so we say okay it's identified by id automatically by the ai so you say save and your object is added 
Now the next object we want to add is the password. We want to enter encrypted text. So it auto suggests you what needs to be done on that particular field. So we enter the password and then we specify the name of the object. In our case, it's going to be password web info. And then we say okay. Now it's identified the object using the unique attribute which is password which is a unique match so we say save okay the next thing is you want to sign in so you click on the sign in button which is a sign in web business button now you select the attribute how to uniquely identify this say we say you want to identify it based on text date we say save. So now we have signed it. Now what we need to do is we want to once signed in, we want to verify the funds transfer page, which is uh, funds transfer link is present or not. Okay. So what we do here is we go here in the verify funds transfer link. Now you see here there are zero views. So we actually need to capture this view. So to capture a view, you can click on capture new view option and select the URL which is open and you want to capture. So in our case, we want to capture this particular account summary or home page. So we stay here and say start. Then we record the view. We wait for everything to be captured. Okay, it's captured 235 elements. We say add view. Say save and done. Now the view has been captured. Okay. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, specify or verify the funds transfer link. So we click here. We look for suggestions, and there it is, which is verify if the web element exists. So we use this particular method we say ok and now it's captured the unique attribute so we say save now this particular action is completed now we want to log out of QBank the view has already been captured so we click on the logout button and we get suggestions we want to click on the logout element so we do that and we say ok and then we say save. So now all our logic for this particular scenario is completed. Let's add the synchronization for each of our views that we have captured. So go into context. You'll see this warning here. The synchronization is not defined. So let's define that. So synchronization is basically waiting for the element to be present when you're loading your page. So in the QB homepage, let's say we want to wait for the logout button to access. So save our synchronization for QB homepage. We also will save our synchronization for QB login page. Say we want the user uh, web input to be accessed uh, and then you can proceed with your test. So let's add that synchronization. So now we are done with adding synchronizations, uh, writing our steps. So let's quickly run this. So to run this, uh, you can run it now. That's an option to schedule to run it via CI job. You can run it on various environments. You can run it on various hosts like local host, uh, Docker containers, device forms, etc. You can run it on different OS and browsers. So that's an option there. You have an option to capture snapshots. You have an option to set up page load, element load times, you can do parallel executions, you can enable uh, self-healing, you can also notify using an email, Slack channel, etc. We are going with the default, so let's run it. Click on, click here to track progress, so you can track the real-time progress of your test. So let's click on, click here. Uh, let's wait for the agent to kick off, uh, set up the particular run and let's wait for the test to run.
So now uh, your browser gets invoked. So it's opening qbank.xlq.com. It's going to enter the username and the password. Click on sign in. Verify the funds transfer link and log out. So once you're done, you will be able to get all of these steps that are being performed uh, by the automation that you had set up. So you'll get all of these results as passed. You also get uh, a slideshow of what actually happened uh, during the run. So you will be able to see that you were logged in, it verified the funds transfer link, and then it logged out and it came back to the QBank login page. Okay, so that's about it. It's pretty simple. Hope you liked it.